I'm gonna do three VRs today. <clears throat> this one is to Ghost Cops giveaway. Congratulations on the one year anniversary though. Awesome. Uh, I had a blast watching that video with you and your wife. Uh, that was pretty dang funny. Still puffing away on my own mess in the Mississippi River. If I could go back in time to one event in history, what would it be and why? It's a tough one because I think they're linked. And this is gonna be kind of sci-fi geeky on you. I apologize ahead of time. But I've always been fascinated with the Egyptian pyramids. Also with Kumapunku, I think is what it's called. I want to see how they were built. It's always fascinated me how the geometry of the pyramids one, you know, there's been explanations that make sense on the pyramids, right? These stones were tons and tons, they were huge. But they didn't have the technology to move that stuff around back then. Not, not, not only that, but to stack them geometrically perfect to make a pyramid. It's always blown my mind, ever since I was a kid. And then of course, you know, Ancient Aliens comes out on the History Channel or National Geographic, whatever channel it's on. And it's like, oh, that actually kind of makes sense. What if that's true? And if you don't believe that there's other life out in our universe, I mean, come on. The Earth is like a speck of sand in the universe of planets or planetoids or whatever you want to call it. we got to be pretty dang arrogant to think we're the only life in the entire universe. Do I think they've been here? I don't know. It's kind of cool to think about it imagine it but uh, it, i'm just curious like how did it happen if it was aliens oh cool i mean if it wasn't and they had some technology that we just don't realize it but they didn't hand it down through the generations to where they knew how to do it cool too uh but i want to see how they were built but the puma puku thing that blows my mind these stones with like h's and all kinds of stuff in them are perfect cuts I'm talking like if you put them on a CNC milling machine and cut them cuts. They definitely did not have those kind of tools back then where that is. And it's in South America somewhere. I'll put a little more details in a picture up of it. But yeah, I want to go and see how that stuff was done, what it was for, you know. Uh, the pyramids seem to be something more than just grave sites or burial sites. It's just fascinating to me. I've always loved the Egyptian architecture and geography and the, the, all the ancient buildings that just nobody can understand how the heck they did that. Kind of like Paris Island. Is it Paris Island? The island with the big talking heads, like the big one that says, hey gum dum, give me gum gum, in, uh, in the uh, Night at the Museum movies, wherever those heads are. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I know that's more than one, but it's one situation. So maybe if they were built at the same time, that kind of counts. Like I go back to when they were built and watch how they were built. If I had to choose between the two, uh, probably the Puma Punku thing, because it's, it's really weird. It is really, really weird how perfect those cuts are. And they're all uniform. It's not like one was perfect and then some of the other ones were close to perfect, but still different. No, they are uniform and they look like they fit together. It's crazy. Anyways, that's where I would like to go and uh, see what happens. Congratulations again, Ghost Cop. One year anniversary, and good luck to everybody who is putting out their VRs. And it's all things. Bike slow down. Slow down. Lost five.